Hey guys, it's uh, Brian with Toys from the Attic, and today I wanted to show you something that uh, I often um, get to repair when um, I get in some electronics. Basically, just scratchy pots, potentiometers. Um, I've, and today I've got this Symmetrix headphone amp, and as you can see, it's got these um, these outputs. And then these are the volumes for those outputs. And then I've got uh, something going in, so into the, uh, the input. And so basically what this system does is it takes an input, you know, a song, and then distributes it to each one of these four outputs where people are wearing headphones. However, uh, these potentiometers, or pots as we call them, um, often through lack of use, not through too much use, but through lack of use, become scratchy. And, um, and there's one a good way to fix them. But I'll show you, I've got them hooked up, right now I've got it hooked up to, um, got, well, it's actually I don't have it hooked up. Let's see, I've got, this is going to go into number one, and then that goes into my mixer, which goes to my power amp, which goes to my speakers. But it's just to allow you to hear the scratchiness. So when I adjust the volume on one, you can hear that scratchiness. It still works. If you, once you set it to whatever volume you want to set it at, it works great. It's just that when adjusting it, you hear that scratchiness, that feedback, whatever it is. Um, and that can, you know, at high levels, that can really hurt your ears. Here's number two. You see, it's got it's got the same thing. Number three. So number three is pretty clear. Maybe three got used more. And number four. It's a little bit less than one and two. But anyway, so now I'll show you. Um, we're going to go to um, the overhead camera, and I'm going to show you how I would fix this. All right, so I'm going to continue on, maybe adjust this a little bit so that you can see me while I'm doing this. But uh, basically, I would unplug the unit, take my handy-dandy Phillips head screwdriver, and I will be taking the screws off the top so that I can get to the innards of this unit. And normally I would not put those screws just on the desk because you don't want to lose them. But I don't have anything to put them in at the moment. So let's just go ahead the way we are. I'll have photographic evidence if I lose them. Anyway, so um, once you've got these four screws off, then you just pick this plate up. And move it forward, and you can see it came off. All right. So now we're going to look at inside here, and it looks pretty good. You know, these capacitors don't seem to be bubbling or anything. So basically, our issue here is these four pots, these potentiometers, and on on the side of each one, there's a little opening, so that you can get um, some fluid in there to clean them out. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this electronics cleaner, there's various types that you can use, and squirt it into that hole. And then once I've got it in there, I'm going to work it around. And usually what you can feel is it actually gets lubricated and gets easier to turn. And I just want to make sure I get enough in there. Hope I'm not covering anything up. So I got quite a bit in there, probably more than necessary. But uh, I'm going to work it around. Then I'm going to do the other other ones. Make 
sure I can get now this stuff is um, a quick dry fluid and it's you know it's not like water so it's not going to hurt the electronics it just clean it clears it out auto magically I guess I don't really know how exactly it does it but and then we'll say let's go ahead and get number three and number four And I don't know if this first treatment is going to be enough. Um, usually it is. Just working it around. Okay. Yeah, well, we got quite a bit, quite a bit of fluid there. Let's uh, clean that up a little bit. All right. Now we'll uh, go ahead and put it back together. To be honest, we don't have to put it back together. We can see how that's working now. Plug it in one. Of course, you want to be careful. There we go. And now we're going to do one. Auto magic. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm not getting any noise from that. Let's try two. Not a thing. And it is on. Three. Not a noise. Four. Not a noise. All right, problem solved. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, put her back to back together now. Unplug it again. Um, basically, this just fits in here like this. Goes around those inputs, and then we just re-screw this back in. And now, once we get these screws back in, we've got a unit that's working as good as new. And this, this can work for any of your potentiometers, volume knobs, EQ knobs, things like that, that have uh, a similar function. Just a little electronics cleaner. Spray it in there, work it around, voila. All right, well, I hope this uh, helps you out. And I'm going to do uh, you know, many more videos in the future on simple electronics repair because I can't do much anything else other than the very simple stuff. But uh, anyway, that's how I prepare the stuff that, uh, that I sell um, on the secondary market under used Toy Man. Anyway, again... Thanks again. I appreciate you watching.